Before driving into the vast deserts of Wonder Valley, California, I suggest using a bathroom in either Joshua Tree or 29 Palms. Because if you don't, there's really only one place to go. I, like, you're telling me these are, these actually work? Yes, they have flushing toilets in them. Come here, I'll oh, show okay. you. Okay, all right. Welcome to the Glass Outhouse art installation. Oh, oh, yeah. An eye-opening lavatory experience for when you really have to go. People just kind of go in here and they- Yeah, well, you can see out, but we can't see in. It's true. The one-way glass does provide you with a certain amount of privacy, but when Laurel Seidel opened up her desert art gallery, the glass outhouse wasn't supposed to be the main attraction or the name of the place. It was simply built out of necessity. I said, well, there's no tall bushes you can go behind out here that you can't see through, okay? We need a restroom. I don't want people trekking through my house. As you will come to find, Laurel likes to recycle, so instead of getting rid of some old one-way glass, she put it to use, just like everything else on the property. What what are these things over here? Are they, uh, did they come from someplace, or? <laughs> well, everything came from someplace. Admission into the glass outhouse is free, and so is Laurel's wit and sass. As for the origin of her things, she says they come from here and there. Set it up so it's humorous, or artistic or you know whatever and laurel's a bit of a free spirit she worked at a number of jobs and traveled all over the nation collecting knickknacks eventually she and her husband bought this place in the desert to store all their things and start a farm a rabbit barn we raised rabbits commercially here when laurel got tired of raising the rabbits she converted the barn into an art gallery it turned out to be one of those if you build it they will come type things because it's a not-for-profit and there's no fees. Because Laurel doesn't charge any commission fees, she gets art from all over the world, which makes a very diverse art gallery. You'll even find some of Laurel's paintings. What, would, what kind of art would you call this? This is a fe feather art? Or? I guess. I don't know. Okay. It's just art. It's a, it's a bird on a bird feather. Yeah. After looking at some art, you may want to consider getting married. The Glass Outhouse Art Gallery has its own chapel. And you said how, how many people have been married here so far? Ten. Ten. Today was the tenth. The chapel's not big, but it is free and beautifully designed by her husband. But just to be clear, she says it wasn't the husband she originally moved here with. Number the one two. I, yeah, no, no, actually four. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay. I had to kiss a lot of frogs before I found the right guy. You know, sometimes that happens. It took me 70 years. You could use a restroom back in Joshua Tree or 29 Palms before venturing into the Wonder Valley, but why? Like, a, I mean, is this like a metaphor for something or is it you just... Like... We've got to go, you got to go. <laughs> Here at the Glass Outhouse, the toilet is clean, the art is interesting, and the company is more than memorable. I don't know if anyone's ever told you this before, but I, I feel like you've lived a very colorful life here. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> From the Glass Outhouse in Wonder Valley, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.